Hello there, welcome to Be Nostalgia Dead. In my hands today I have the Super Rare Mixtape Volume 1. Now this is a prototype product of something that Super Rare Games are launching, well, today actually, and it's limited to 2,000 copies. So it's a passion project by Ryan Brown, who's a friend of mine, and he sent me this prototype version to have a look at because I think it's an amazing concept. It's something that he's incredibly passionate about. Super M mixtape, something which I've wanted to do for years and years. I can fully get behind that. On the back, we've got experience the incredible variety of indie games from some of the best and brightest up and coming developers with this super rare mixtape volume one. So what it does is it hark back to the days when you'd create a tape of various songs off the radio or a disc full of different shareware games. You get a plastic cassette, which is the same size as, as an actual cassette. It's nice and orange color. It's got a label. Nice. And it's also a USB stick. So plug this into your PC and a bespoke menu will launch and you can access 30, was it? 30 full hand-picked indie games on it and six demos. Now the indie scene is filled with incredible titles. If you go on itch.io, there's so many games that you don't even know where to begin. And that's part of the problem. It's an oasis of decision anxiety. So what Ryan has done is he's curated a selection of what he considers to be some of the best indie games that he's played. And he's put them in this beautiful package, which is nice to collect. There's only 2,000 and it allows you to get involved in some of these indie games. And it gives these indie games more coverage, which is crucial for that segment of the market. So there's your tape. Inside this package, we get a nice wedge of foam. Everyone loves foam. And an instruction manual, which rather than an instruction manual, is a pamphlet telling you which games you get. And it's got a description about each one. So Ryan's put, before indie games boomed in the 2000s, the scene still existed in small places like TIG Source, The Daily Click and 64 Digits. As an active member of that community during my teens, it's still crazy to see indie games become what they have today. Many of its creators have gone to create beloved titles like Hotline Miami, Wonder Song, Baba Is You, Spelunky, Minecraft, etc. But the scene that continues to thrive on sites like itch.io and Game Jolt is still widely overlooked. So I really like that this is setting out to change that. So we've got a mini falafel adventure is the first game and you get a bit about the game. We've also got Be Calm. Uh, Daughter of Ren. Detritus, Echoist, Emily is Away, which is a great game. I haven't played most of these games, which I, is the purpose of this package. Enviro Bear 2000, Fairy Song, Forklift Man, The Fragment Extended. Edition. Garbage Boy Plus. Good Morning Drifter. Greetings. Guardian Sphere. Home Run Bun Plus. Kiwi 64. Lianthus. Lucid Heist, Ly Lycanthorn, Missed Messages, No Players Online, which is an excellent game. This is one I have played. My son introduced it to me because he thought I'd like it and he liked it. It's kind of like a Doom clone, but you're in this mysterious land where there's always a sense of dread. There's something after you. It's definitely worth playing through. Paint game. 
Pearl Grabber. Quest of Graal. Secret Tea Garden. Stellar Nexus. Tempo Quest. Tonsil Terror. Two Timing Towers. You left me. And we've got some demos. Billy Buster. Conscript. Grapple Dog. Valone Blade. Pathogen X. And Skatebird. It's a wonderful little package. I mean, can you imagine having access to this many games in the 90s? I mean, we had shareware, but the indie scene is a whole different bag these days. And this is just a wonderful way to delve into that scene to get, you know, these developers noticed and to have a decent collection of games that you can collect. I hope to see more volumes of this. Uh, I'm not sure how many copies are left at the time I'm putting this video out. It might be they've all sold out. But even so, I still want to bring recognition to this product because, it, like I said, Ryan is just so passionate about it and it's amazing to see. And it looks cool. I really like the look of it. So, thank you for watching this short video. I hope you have a nice remainder of your week and I'll see you soon. Bye.